Hey everybody, Sam Haymart with TDTV Garage. This week in the garage, we have the 2025 Honda Civic Hybrid, an all new powertrain for 2025. So we're gonna pop the hood, have a good tour under there, talk about all the major technical components, talk about the specs, and all the different areas you need to be checking out for DIY maintenance. For 2025, the North American market Honda Civic Hybrid gained a new fourth generation two motor hybrid powertrain option that features better performance and efficiency than previous versions. In fact, it's been named one award's top 10 engines and propulsion systems for this year. The system is comprised of a two liter Atkinson cycle naturally aspirated four cylinder engine. It has 141 horsepower and 134 pound feet of torque. It's mated to a next generation two motor electronic continuously variable transmission that can operate in both series and parallel modes. Its main traction motor is strong. It has 181 horsepower and 232 pound-feet of torque, and it's mounted in line with a motor generator that can both start the engine as well as charge the 1.06 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack. Altogether, the system offers up a total 200 system horsepower. Following the airflow, the intake charge starts at the front of the engine bay through the intake snorkel and through a series of plastic plenums as it routes its way back over the top of the aluminum case of the liquid-cooled hybrid control unit. At the rear of the engine, it's drawn through a small air filter box and then past a mass airflow sensor before dropping down into the intake manifold. From there, it flows into the 16-valve head that features variable cam timing and valve lift for the intake cam. You can see atop the head all four spark plug coil packs. The direct fuel injection, however, is mostly hidden, though you can see the high-pressure fuel pump at the top right of the engine. Once the combustion process is complete, the exhaust air exits through an integral exhaust manifold into the main catalyst and straight down. Off to the right, you can see this engine features a liquid-cooled EGR system. Care and maintenance of the Civic Hybrid is straightforward. The oil cap can be found at the top left of the engine, and the oil check dipstick is just ahead of it. Both can be accessed with the foam engine cover on or off. The oil filter, however, must be accessed from below. Brake fluid can be found at the driver's side firewall. Notable here is that the brake system itself is spread out, with the main master cylinder actually at the passenger side, the ABS control unit further ahead at the front of the engine bay. Windshield washer fluid can be found at the passenger side fender line visible by its bright blue cap though not as easily found with the color of this particular car. There are two coolant reservoirs to tend to, one for the hybrid system found next to the brake fluid, the other for the engine found at the front and adjacent to the radiator. Its 12 volt battery is found at the driver's side front of the engine bay with the main engine control computer found just behind it. The main consumer grade fuse box is located further back against the shock tower. A handy fuse removal tool is provided inside. Notable items around the engine bay I thought worth a mention include the air conditioning compressor, which is powered by the high voltage battery, not belt driven. Always be cautious of the orange high voltage wiring as it carries lethal voltage. Also note the electric cooling fans at the radiator. Keep your hands clear of these even if the engine is turned off. Well, there you have it, my friends, the underhood tour, the 2025 Honda Civic Hybrid. Impressive is really what I come away with here. It's got great power, it's got great efficiency, 50 plus MPG, and it's fun to drive. We have a full and complete test drive of this vehicle so you can find out for yourself right there. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel right there and stay informed of everything we do.